Have you got a short supply of hay this year? If so, you may need to take a close look to see if you're going to have enough to get your beef animals through the winter this, this year. You need to take a look and see not only how many bales of hay that you have, but what the weight of these bales happen to be. Many people think that round bales are supposed to weigh 1,000 pounds, but very few of them do. Many of them weigh either less or a lot more. So weigh a few to see just how much hay that you actually do have in a bale. Next, you will need to make an adjustment in this as you start doing your calculations based on how the hay is stored. Uh, if it's stored inside, losses may be 8% or, or even less. If it's stored outside, we've seen situations where losses may be as high as 35%. So try to get some good estimate of how much usable hay that you actually have on hand. Then the next thing to do is to calculate to see how much hay is actually going to be needed by the beef herd for the upcoming winter season. In calculating these animal requirements, we use a uh, thumb of rule with using animal units. With this, we are looking at cows or bulls being one unit, our yearlings and some of our stalker calves being one half unit, and calves being one quarter unit. Let's just use an example herd to see how to make these calculations. For example, let's say that we've got 25 cows, 10 replacement heifers, 10 stalkers, and four young calves along with the herd sire. All right, the calculations we'll need to make are these. First off, if we take the 25 cows and multiply that by one, uh, since they need one unit uh, of hay, and we'll tell you how to use that unit in just a few minutes, that means we need 25 units. Uh, if we have 10 stalkers, 10 times 0.5 gives us five animal units. Uh, if we are looking at uh, some yearling cattle, uh, 10 of those at one half unit each, that gives us another five units. Four calves at one quarter unit each is, would be one unit and then one unit for the bull. If we total all this up, this will equal 37 units. What research and, and demonstrations have shown us is it takes approximately 20 pounds of hay for each animal unit. So if we multiply the number of animal units we have by 20 and then multiply that by the number of days that uh, we're going to have to feed the animals, it will give us a rough estimate of just about how much hay is going to be needed. In this particular case, if we say it takes 20 pounds of hay per unit, We've got 37 units and we're going to be feeding for 120 days. Uh, we multiply that out and we come out with a figure of 88,800 pounds of hay that's going to be required this winter season. If we divide that by 2,000 pounds, that tells us that we're going to need approximately 44.4 tons of hay. And uh, with this number, we can compare that back to the amount of hay that we have available and see if we are going to have enough hay to get us through the winter. If you're going to be short of hay based on this estimate, then you'd need to either cull some animals or try to secure some additional hay. But we feel like this thumb rule of using animal units is a relatively easy way to estimate how much hay that you're going to be needing and then to determine whether you're going to have enough to get you through. Because it does get very expensive trying to go out and purchase hay right at the end of the feeding season. So let's know ahead of time so we can make purchases early if that's going to be required. If you need additional information regarding uh, calculating animal units or any other topic related to beef cattle production, contact your local extension agent.